so what do we got? What's what's the big breaking news story you have for us, uh, Matthew Film Guy? This just in, the movie that I've been talking about for 12 months straight has finally gotten a release. Black Bear, starring Aubrey Plaza, directed by Lawrence Michael Levine, is out now on all VOD, video on demand, really? streaming platform. That's you right. You didn't send us a trailer to play? Where's oh, the trailer? you can just Google it up real quick. Black Bear trailer. It's right there. It's wonderful. Uh, yeah, that would be wonderful. I'll vamp a little bit while you grab that. It's easy. Um, and actually, it is playing in about a dozen art house theaters right now around the country. Uh, smaller theaters that I guess are being very careful about their social distancing. But one of them is actually the Cedar Lee, which is in Cleveland, which was like the first art house theater I ever went to. So no, it's sort of like the, uh, no relation. No, it's Cedar, C-E-D-A-R. As right, in the, I just want to make that clear. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, I do not, love Aubrey Plaza. I mean, who doesn't? I don't Sam know didn't who she know is. who she was. <laughs> she's she's from Parks and Rec. Sam, you watch that show? No. Yeah, we've been down this road. Here you go. Check out the trailer, folks. All right, here's the trailer. I didn't, Black I didn't edit the trailer, no. but it's genius. All right, this uh, Matthew film guy did not edit the trailer, but he did. I edited in fact, the movie. Edit the movie. Is that Audrey? What's her face? Aubrey Plaza. Plaza yes, Aubrey that's Plaza. her. Sam. And the music is amazing too. The soundtrack just came out today. You're Allison? Yeah, you're Gabe. Hi, I'm Allison. Oh, I know. I'm Blair. You're really pretty. You are too. You used to be an actress and now you're a director. Why'd you give it up? I didn't. So do you guys have a plan for this place? I don't really know what we're doing. We were living in Brooklyn and it was getting so expensive and we weren't really working, so. I figured if um, I never learned how to cook, then I would never become a housewife. You're really hard to read. Yeah, you know what? I get that all the time. Do you find it weird acting in your own films? I actually find it kind of humiliating. Roll sound. Mark. Okay, whenever you're ready. Action. You don't think she knows what I'm up to? She's oversimplifying a lot. It's just so rare to pick a real artist's brain. How can you make something if you don't have anything to say? I have something to say. I just think the movie is the only way to say it. It's like she can't stand the fact that I have a single thought about this world. No, it's that I can't stand the thoughts about the world that you have. This has been so fun. You don't love me anymore. Leave me alone! Now I'm wondering what kind of mind games you're playing with me. He's my husband, okay? Claire, can you just calm, can you calm down a little bit? Me? I've been lying since the second I got here. (laughs) You're in love with her, you are, I know it. This is what you wanted, okay? This was going to ruin us. Okay, cut. I just want to be normal people again. Wow. So you did the editing for that? I edited the film, yes. Thank you. It looks amazing. Like it looks very unique. I'm I'm pumped. That's amazing. I get the sense that like we're seeing both clips from the movie within the movie and the reality. That's what's uh and it's it's one of those jobbies, isn't it? What's real? One of those jobbies, yes. Is it like a tropic thunder thing where they don't well you can't tell (laughs) they they don't know they're actually in a she's the (laughs) she's the dude playing the dude disguised as the other dude, you mean? Uh also I love Christopher Abbott, great actor too. (laughs) My Chris Rabbit, just, Sarah Gedd. Yeah. My sister has just texted me. She said, I just, this popped up. I've listened to at least three shows in which Aubrey Plaza comes up and you don't know who she is and everyone <laughs> tells you who she is. You know, I've got so much it's, to remember. Like, like, why would I yeah. remember that? No, I know. It, it's it's almost like the, you're making a deliberate effort at this point not to know because you've no, been told so I'm many not. Times. I just it's like I. But I, you're in like the comedy space. She's in, you know, sort it, of. She was gone by the time she was. Ascendant. Oh my god! You know? Are you kidding? When I was in the comedy yeah. space, she was probably like in elementary school. Well, I mean, I, I, I don't know. You know, people now still. She's kind of big. I don't know. 
Sam, when when I did Bad Situationist and you cast me in there and I was acting a little bit, I'm like, oh, well, maybe I should take an improv class. I went and took an improv class with Amando Diaz and she was in that class. She was like 19 years old. Oh, really? And e- even at that time, yeah, my first ever improv prof class, at that time, she, it was clear she was going to be something special. She was amazing. And a lot of people didn't necessarily know that she had these kinds of dramatic acting chops. This movie is also very funny in a lot of places, but uh, it is a a tour de force you know a lot of the references we had were like gina rollins woman under the influence Uh, opening night these kinds of things so there is a uh i would just say without giving too many spoilers because part of the fun is the sort of fun house hall of mirrors uh right i get that sense yes but it is you um, don't know when you're in the movie and when you're not in the movie I'll she just was, nod and smile. Yes. Okay. She okay. was dramatically really good in that movie. Ingrid goes West too. That's another little indie one where she's good. Yeah. I've book. keep hearing about that. Uh, and I definitely have that on, on my list, you know, did she um, remember you from that improv class? I don't think she remembered me, but she certainly remembered the class. And actually when we got met on set, cause I actually was up there on set when this was happening, uh, uh, which is rare for an editor, but I reminded her. And she's but like, is it oh, that rare yeah, these you, days? Oh, well, I mean, you're right. I, I it's become more, it's becoming more. Uh, of because a you can actually thing. like download and input. Like, what did you shoot that on? Digital, obviously high definition right. an airy 2k camera. Yeah. And so you're, you, you can actually input that and, and log it and begin to do cuts so that you get a notion of like what you need to go back and do pickups. Right. That's precisely what I did, Sam. Exactly right. We, we were able to do reshoots in the last three days while we were there based on things that I had cut while we were there. But when I said to her, do you remember that class? She's like, oh yeah, you look familiar. So at least she was nice enough to lie to me that way. But actually she's such a cool person. We've been uh, sharing pictures on Instagram. People can go to my Instagram at Langdon Boom and see some behind the scenes pictures and stuff. And she's been sharing some of the pictures. Has she I bought took anything and... from your eBay uh, uh, store? <laughs> no, no, I really got to work our way up. We don't have that kind of relationship yet, but you know, eventually I'm sure she will. Um, but you know, like maybe this, if I don't really ruin it, but, uh, anyway, she's amazing in this movie. Uh, like you said, Christopher, uh, Ga- uh, Chris, uh, Chris Abbott is amazing. Sarah Gadden also just three genius actors and, uh, Larry Levine who wrote this, he's also an actor and it just understands it's, it's a really, it's an actor's movie, despite having this really kind of, uh, brain teaser structure. To I also it, get I'm... some Z for Zachariah vibes, which is also a, I don't know if you saw that movie, but that's uh-uh. like, oh, no. it's a three three person kind of claustrophobic, claustro- claustrophobic movie. Hey, I wa- I'm, I'm not lying. I watch a lot of movies. <laughs> That's great. Well, Emma, I can't wait for you to see this. I can't wait for other people to Pumped. see it. It's been getting great reviews, 88% on Rotten Tomatoes for, for a weird art house movie. I think that's pretty that's thrilling. That's pretty good, man. And, and people are really digging in. Like if you go on Letterboxd, people can also follow me on Letterboxd at Langdon Boom, a Matthew film guy on there. Uh, and just, you know, the kind of just theorizing and insights and it's, you know, it's ambiguous so it can hold sort of different interpretations, but it's just, uh, you know, it's also in its DNA is like, who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? Like the sort of like, you know, dinner party gone bad kind of vibe. That's part of it too. So it's really great I, seeing people. I have to say, reactions. you know, sometimes it's difficult in trailers to pick up on this, but the acting does look exceptional. Yeah. And listen, I'll put it to you this way. Everybody knows that the editor is the unsung hero when it comes yes. to making a movie. Uh, people who know films. Uh, and so, now that you're uh, tooting your own horn, you're the sung that's right. hero. That's right. I will. <laughs> this is time to be sung. Let that which is unsung be sung. Um, I don't think so, I've ever seen you so like, like sort of effervescent. Oh, it's this has been the best week ever. I mean, on the one hand, the pandemic being what it is has robbed me of like, you know, some red carpet events and parties and all that kind of hobnobbing stuff. But what it's done is it's meant that this is one of the few movies that people are actually able to see right now, new movies. And it's just been really fun seeing. That's right. This must have been just like right in under the wire, right? Yeah, we we finished. Well, we finished in August and we made it into Sundance in January. And that was the last film festival you know, literally we left Sundance thinking like, did we get a disease there? Like, it was like, (laughs) that was right as things were starting. In fact, one of the other actors who's a writer in the movie, we kept thinking like, we should pitch like Outbreak at a film festival as a film. So maybe the time has passed for that, but Mm. it was one of the last ones to to happen. And so it got bought and now it's on demand and sort of a captive audience. Well, I was about to shift uh, to um, uh, what your movie recommendation is for this week 
But I'm going to say that obviously the first thing that people should watch is Black Bear. And Z, I can't imagine Z for Zachariah, definitely. It yet. What? No. Z, Z for Zachariah. That's what I'm going to watch. I've seen Black Bear. So <laughs> Z for Zachariah is uh, uh, Margot Robbie, Chris Pine, and Chiwetela Ejiofor. And it's a three person okay. kind of like locked in a situation drama, which is why I said. Okay, I love that. You know, uh, you know, Larry, the, the director of this movie, and I met in a class taught by uh, uh, actor, writer, director Tom Noonan. Oh my gosh! Was, so much of yeah. your career is centered around Noonan, hasn't it? Uh, li literally. Well, it goes back to the genesis of Ray Carney. Ray Carney introduced me to you. He introduced me to Tom, and then Tom, uh, we met Larry there, and now Larry and I have worked together a bunch of times. This is the first feature film of his that I've edited. But um, Tom's two movies, What Happened Was and The Wife, also both one location, uh, interacting people, sort of, again, the DNA of Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. And uh, so, you know, that's- And this uh, is exciting. Like, I'm I don't want to, I don't want to participate into like, uh, you know, I, I you, you, you know, my perspective on show business is very much about uh, managing expectations. But, Absolutely. I mean, Please. you, you know, um, you you a director shoots a feature film it does well that usually leads to maybe a second chance at another feature film if you are the editor i know that from my perspective it's like i got locked in to uh to you know key people who worked with me that you know you develop these relationships it works uh you like their work and and it becomes more of a collaboration as you move through so i mean this is like uh this could be the ticket to ride well, listen, Larry and I, this is Larry's third film and he and his wife, Sophia, have made films together where he's written it and she's directed it. So they've made like five or six movies together. And I edited the trailers for most of those movies. Um, and Larry Who and did the editing friends. for those other movies? Why didn't Larry use you in the, before? Just a variety of circumstances, different things. And, uh, you know, well, I hope he's learned his lesson. I mean, this is his most successful movie, speak. isn't it? I, you know, I'd say so, maybe, yeah. Yeah, At least it's I would so definitely far. say yeah. so. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. I'm pumped because the editing What's looks different snappy. Here? What's and, different and with cool. this equation? It's because you you direct, you you edited it. You edit, okay, I listen, I won't put, uh, <laughs> I, I won't take that away from you, Sam, if that's your insight you want to share. But listen, Larry and I had such a good time making this movie and uh, we're just friends. So it's really fun to have a friend who you, you really respect. And honestly, he asked me to edit this movie and he sent me the script and I was ready to say yes before I read it. And after I read the script, I was so blown away, but I was also like relieved because I'm like, oh my God, this is gonna be a really good movie. <laughs> <Right>. You know, <laughs> like thankfully this is going to be good. And the script is amazing and it accounts for most of what's great about the movie. But listen, uh, I'll toot my own horn a little bit. It was. Uh, a, a wild shoot, the circumstances of the shoot, indie film, never enough time. We were out in the remote woods. Uh, you know, M Mary, you know, my fiance Mary was in this movie. She has a, a role as one of the, the crew members on the, the, the film within a film crew. And uh, oh my God, the nightmare scenarios that they had to be put through. Uh, locked oh, tell us some stories of that. Woods. I love uh, production stories. You know that well, I, I've, I had all, my share of- uh, Yeah, of you know what it's like, Sam. And, and a lot of what's great about the film within a film is the- how many days about, was the shoot? It was like 20 days. Wow. Yeah. And, and all the locations are up there though, right? Yeah, it was one location basically, but it was an hour drive from any civilization to get to this cabin. The cabin didn't have its own power grid. So they kept having blackouts in, uh, during the show. Oh, so um, you, uh, oh, see, yeah. I mean, if it was my shoot, we would all be living at the cabin. Some people were living at the cabin, but the the three big names needed a little bit nicer accommodations. I and understand. So they, they I were understand. Able to, yes. But uh, Mary and I were living in this, like, it was basically like the visitor's cabin in this, like, it was like this bungalow colony uh, that there were two of them next to each other that we all stayed in. And uh, listen, my, my cabin was the, was the highest internet uh, service there. And it was like a one megabit DSL. So it was like very Oof. rustic. Okay. And uh, so, yeah, long hours, uh, schedule changes. One of the actresses had to go to the hospital. She actually got sick. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Paola, pa Paola Lazaro, who's actually now in Walking Dead. She got, she, she's on Walking Dead after this. Um, of course, Paola yeah. Lazaro. Yeah, yeah, you like Walking Dead. I do, actually, uh, like that show. Uh, she's she's the new girl. She's princess, you know, with the big machine gun. No, you didn't. Want oh yeah, princess. yeah, yeah. I do know. I do know. Yeah, yeah. She's wearing the pink thing. Yeah, yeah. She's anyway, a little bit, she's a little bit, a little cool. bit touched. 
right? She's a little bit, yes. she's been isolated yes. too long. Yes, yeah. it was typecasting for her. But anyway, yeah. hey, hi, Paula. Um, but uh, if it's, uh, you know, an indie film, you know, you're going to have more things to do than time to do it in. Actor schedules. Um, was it something I said? Yeah, she didn't want to hear that. Yeah. But um, yeah, it was one of those movies that just like, oh my God, it's a miracle when any movie comes out. And then what when was it the comes shooting out, ratio? this good. I know it's a little inside. I didn't. Knowledge. I didn't keep. I don't know. Four to one, three to one. I mean, four to one, three to one. That's a little tight for uh, yeah for video, right? Well, you know, it's some scenes there were sixteen takes, and some scenes we only had two takes. You know, but actually, since this movie is very actor based, it was a lot of long takes that were intercut. So they would roll right. for like ten or fifteen minutes. Yeah, and uh, which is part of what was great about being improv or, or very st- no stuck to script. His- very stuck to the stuff. script despite aubrey plaza being a genius level improviser it was i'd say 90 percent. and does does your director do like um um a lot of rehearsals beforehand or is it just show if up only and, he had the time they had no time it was like okay. here it is yeah, they, no. they had script meetings and you're on set and listen a lot of the first takes were not usable because they're working out the camera positions they're working things out it was all seat of the pants stuff which as an editor makes it more fun because you're not just putting tab a into slot b and just piecing it together you're actually able to having build to it. create stuff yeah yeah and it was and you do stuff like so l fun. cuts of course sam of course you do l cuts <laughs> you do uh you know insert edits you do everything what so other podcast what you know, other political podcasts exist where you're gonna get like um funny like sarcastic ironic uh you know uh editing film editing uh jokes like that did you do any l cuts uh, Pacman's going to have me on to do a, a segment, but yeah, Pacman's that, not going to come up with that. No, definitely. You know, nobody's going to come up with that joke. No, that's, that's like that's a, a yeah, funny. A deep... Of course, you did Al cuts, folks. You can't, you can't do, uh, you can't do a major motion picture without doing an L cut. No, my God. We do, do pre laps. We do L cuts. We do everything around. What here. Uh, what editing box. technology are you using these days? What did you use for that? Adobe Premiere. No more in fact, Final you can, Cut Pro for people, right? That's no, that, moved, that's out moved 10 on, years ago. Moved on, yeah. You, and actually, at Sundance, I got uh, interviewed by the Adobe Premiere people. They were thrilled that such a great movie was done on their product. And um, for some promotional consideration, I had a little video made. Uh, you can find that online somewhere. What Thank you, you Adobe. Promotional consideration. They paid you? Well, they gave me free use of their software for a year, which is like for an editor. That's ching. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's great. I mean, well, I would have done it anyway, but you know, they were very nice. I got to tell you, uh, I am, I am so excited for you. I, I, I don't think I have ever. Oh, <laughs> it is, yeah, the whole, uh, the whole show is just like, everybody's like, Oh, I'm going to get lunch. I'll be right back. Um, the it's fine. Uh, I'm just here to talk to you. Oh, well, hi, Emma. I'm back. Was, I'm Emma's back. Was lunch. Matt took off. I'm oh, sorry. I usually okay. I well, usually use the restroom when we have the uh, the fun half break, but uh, had to had to leave at some point. Sorry. Guys. Uh, okay. we're, we're still I'm still this is a part of uh, uh, Emma's uh, training. This is uh, like 90 percent of this is just uh, bladder control. Right. Yeah. Uh, right. The, this type yeah. of show. That separates the pros from the amateurs. Right. I'm, I'm not there yet in my conditioning. I've trained myself to urinate only once a week. And yeah, so I do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're well, looking a little Matthew, sallow. Honestly, honestly I, I couldn't be happier. I actually am. I actually think that I'm going to watch this movie tonight. Sam, and do it. If there's never been a movie I've recommended that you watch, watch this one. because I'm definitely going to watch it. it. I'm Within very excited about this. And I'm Matt, Matt needs to know, if Matt's not listening, Matt, there's some pot humor in this movie. So there's something for everybody. So Matt should really make note of that as well. I also I mean, like pot humor. Uh, I've never tried. Yeah, well, it, no, you, I already got you on the hook. Matt was walking away, so I had to. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Matthew, yeah. what about me? Why will I like it? You like it just because you like intelligent cinema of the highest caliber. So it does look you really go. good in terms of like uh, look meta how, cinema. Yeah, it's it's great, and you know what? It's not for everybody. It's it's been polarizing. You know, if you if you some I've been laughing at some of the sort of normie reviews on Internet Movie Database, but that's just. It just goes to show you that you, you know, you're seeing a movie that's taking chances, that's doing something, if not completely original, very, very risky to do to an audience, especially when used to the star quality of Aubrey Plaza. I feel like that's mostly the people who are like, uh, this is not Parks and Rec. You know, this isn't. Yeah. But uh, it's 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 a movie for people who like movies, you know, who's who are really into digging in and wondering what's going on and you know comfortable with ambiguity then most of the movies that i show in my class uh which oh. by the way 
let's uh, let's hype the class for a second. You can go I, online on my Twitter I, and sign up. I I want to uh, I want to, take to the tell class? you the text from my other sister. Uh, don't forget to tell Matthew, film guy, that uh, mom and I loved his class. Uh, he is really great teaching the class. Great with the entis. <laughs> um, yes. Well, I got to tell you, Matthew. That. I'm very but excited the, about this. This is one of yeah. the few films that um, that you know I get the sense of like, oh, this is going to make me angry about not doing any more films, which rarely happens to me these days. I mean, mostly because Saul makes me watch horrible, horrible Avenger I know, movies and I know, like Jim that Carrey stuff. Is, and the Avengers, like the yeah. Avenger stuff is. Oh, but by the way, Sam, I heard you say the other day you didn't want to watch Thor. You've got to watch Thor Ragnarok. That's definitely the best of all the Marvel movies. You've got I disagree to with you. And I really? heard okay. the, I saw Thor Ragnarok. It's it was funny. Fine. It, it was fine. Is this all going to involve like uh, like you know? I like Black Panther best. Like that. I'm not. No, like I'm sorry. That's just the whole portal. It opening has the up Hulk. And, like, huh? But it's Taika Waititi, right? The 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 New Zealand comedian director. He directed that, so it was Marvel giving their huge franchise to this sort of comedian, you know, Flight of the Concords type yeah. humor. So and, to uh, see just to see what that is like, you should see that if nothing else. What's it called? The movie that Jojo Rabbit was lovely. That movie. Yeah, he directed that's still that that's out. still on my list. Yeah, that's somebody, still on my list. That's somebody the Nazi recommended comedy. I watch my, that with Milo, but I, 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 to get to Thor three, I got to do Thor one and two, and I just really, honestly, no, no, skip, forget it, forget Thor one and two, yeah, just go right. Tell I think that it's to, Sam. I didn't tell see that Thor to one my, and two. my yeah. near OCD kid who's like, wait, no, we're not oh. going to three. We're going to <laughs> one, love them. Oh, this is this is good. Three. That's the way it works, Dad. <laughs> well, if you can't submit to a rigorous viewing of the Avengers movies in order, then what are you even doing, Sam? I mean, he's but, uh, honestly, for you. like, he's like, I said, please, let's just watch Batman. Batman is good. He's like, no, no. After the uh, Captain America, we're going to watch uh, Iron Man 1, 2, and 3. Then we're going to watch the Hulk. Then we're going to watch all three <laughs> of the four movies. And I'm I like, love him. He's a kid after my own that. heart. I'm not going to do that. And, Maybe you uh, could learn a thing or two from your son about being rigorous and, you know, being intelligent and consuming. Is he into Star stuff. Wars yet? Oh, we watched every single one of the Star Wars. Did he like the prequels? Because, like, I grew up with those, but they're actually objectively horrible now that I'm an adult. Uh, you know, they were horrible he, back he had then a critique. Too. I know, but critique. I thought they were cool then, right? Yeah. He had but. a critique. He, oh. had a, he, I, I was, uh, he has a good critique of this stuff. Um, and I can tell you just like, it's like how much, how much Lego building is going on during a movie. And then, like I say, like, dude, how can you say these Avenger movies are good? You, you built, like, look at you built during this. And he's like, well, I like to do both same time. And I'm like, you're not what movies that you like. Genius. All right, well, Matthew film guy. Uh, I feel like I'm this spot going is going to be Saul, with Saul. Saul film, Saul film guy is not right around the corner for this segment. Just, I think. A, just a matter of time. Yeah. Uh, again, Congratulations, folks! Can go to all of your different uh, pages uh, and follow yep. you at Langdon Prime Boom. Video, Apple TV, Fandango Now, Spectrum. All your cable companies have it. Video on demand. Please rent or buy it today. It's and then don't hesitate to go on Twitter and uh, give Matthew kudos. Matthew, film guy, thanks so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Emma. Have a good day, guys.